Here's another voice from your past. Nothing would stop me from being here tonight for my mentor, Jean Lavelle. This, this man doesn't need any introduction. He's well known throughout the stunt world. Thank you. You know, my family's in Hawaii, and I, I'm heading there tomorrow morning, but this morning, Bob Wall and I were working out in my gym and doing our car deal, and so we, I turned on the TV to uh, watch it while we're doing our uh, cardiovascular workout, and uh, so we turn it to loose cannons. So I'm, we're watching and watching, all of a sudden, and we're talking about tonight, the event tonight, and all this stuff here, and all of a sudden, here comes Gene on the screen. Grabs this guy by the head and sticks a gun in his head. Remember loose cannons? <laughs> I said, well, better the gun than your, his fist, thank goodness. No. <laughs> but, you know, I remember my first workout with Gene almost 35 years ago. And I was a young karate competitor and trying to expand my knowledge and I went to train with Gene. And uh, to say that it was a life-changing experience is an understatement. <laughs> Actually, every workout with Gene is a life-changing experience. <laughs> if you live through it, that is. But, uh, so anyway, Gene says, well, I'm gonna teach you uh, how to choke, the proper way to choke. He says, but before I teach you, you've got to know what it feels like to be choked out. I go, I do? <laughs> and so he says, oh yeah, you've gotta know what it's like. So I said, okay. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, he proceeds to choke me out. Next thing I know, I'm looking up, seeing blurry faces looking down at me. And, and so I got my experience of being choked out. And it was, <laughs> to say the least, it's only the first time of many of them he's done, he's done. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, the thing is, it, it was really, in, you know, all these years of working out with Gene has just been an incredible experience. And I remember when uh, Bob Wall, uh, Richard Norton and myself were working out with uh, Gene one night. And, and uh, he grabbed Bob and, I mean Richard, he grabbed Richard in a wrist lock, and that, and that wrist was bent about 180 degrees. <laughs> Richard said it hurt so bad he couldn't say, it's breaking, it's breaking, he was just in shock. And I'm looking at it, I'm watching it, you know, I'm going, oh my gosh, he's gonna break it, you know? And of course he didn't, but uh, Richard felt like it did. And then he grabs Bob, and gets Bob, twists Bob's neck sideways, and I can see his veins sticking up the side of his neck. And Bob's legs are going like this, sticking out like that. And I go, oh my gosh, I'm next. I wonder what part, <laughs> what, what limb was he gonna grab a hold of? But fortunately that night, he, he, he felt he was pretty nice to me that night. But, uh, you know, and, and you know, it, one thing I would never want to do is get this man mad. I've seen him mad one time. In 35 years, I've seen this man mad one time, and it was at the Olympic Auditorium. And uh, some wrestler came in, had been drinking, and, uh, and he got into Gene's mother's face, Eileen Eaton's face, and got pretty obnoxious. And I looked at Gene, and I saw his face turn red, and I saw those eyes, and he grabbed this guy who was 250 pounds, picked him up over his head, took him outside and threw him out on Main Street. And I said, I never want to get him mad at me. <laughs> and, uh, but, you know, Gene was on Walker, Texas Ranger once, and uh, of course playing a bad guy. And uh, so we're doing this scene, and, and I shoot Gene. And when I shoot him, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm watching. And he's not going down. So I say to Trevette, I said, you think I ought to shoot him again? <laughs> but he did, fall, he, fi he did finally fall down, though. But, <laughs> but, but the thing is, Gene, I want you to know that my family did leave yesterday for Hawaii. And we had made plans months ago to take my, my wife, my, two, my twins, 11 teenagers <laughs> and to, for spring break. Uh, but when, this, uh, when I was notified of this event tonight, Gina was very understanding. She knows, she knows how much I love this guy. And she said, you know, just come fly down on Sunday after the event uh, Saturday night. And, uh, 
because the thing is, Gene, you know, you are, you are my mentor. You're, you're a very, very special man to me, and uh, I wouldn't have missed this for anything in the world, and, uh, and I just love you very much. Chuck uh, Norris, uh, he is one guy when you're roasting you can't say anything bad about because he and uh, Mickey Gilbert are the only ones that walk on water here. Uh, God bless you both and all of you. Bob Wall, who, this gentleman here, lifelong friend, might end quick, I'm going to kill him after tonight. He's a nice guy. He starred in uh, with Bruce Lee on in Enter the Dragon. He's a macho guy. And a lot of people say bad things about Bob Wall. One of them being, every guy he sees, he kisses. Don't knock it, it kept him out of the army. But I love this guy. Now can we eat?